A new alternative in stroke therapy has experts around the nation using superlatives like game changer, a sea change, and a once in a generation advance in stroke care. This is going to be a transformative moment in, in how we treat stroke. The therapy? A new device called a retrievable stent that physically removes a clot from the brain. The device has been used at St. Louis University Hospital for several years by SLU Care Interventional Neurologist Dr. Randall Edgel. It's a uh, cylinder, a wire mesh cylinder that's attached to a wire. The way it works is we start off by uh, making a small incision by uh, the hip, uh, usually. And through that small incision, we enter the blood vessels of the body. We're able to guide a tube or catheter all the way up through the blood vessels into the brain arteries. And once that tube is in place, we can then slide this cylinder inside the tube, fold it up. And when it gets up to the blood clot, we release it from the tube. It opens up inside the blood clot and the blood clot becomes trapped inside the wire mesh. After that's uh, achieved, we can then remove that stent from the body with the blood clot attached and using a suction uh, device to get it all the way out and all the fragments out. Historically, the treatment for stroke has been the drug TPA. Given within a three-hour window of a stroke, the intent is to dissolve a clot. While it's very effective in patients with smaller clots, for large strokes with larger clots, there are times where more is needed. And as soon as that blood flow is, is halted by a blood clot, generally speaking, the brain tissue that normally is supplied by that blood it starts to melt away and it's very, very rapid. There's no organ in the body that's as sensitive to a lack of blood flow. So almost two million brain cells are dying every minute that the blood flow is cut off. Recent studies and publications like the New England Journal of Medicine have shown the retrievable stent offering significant benefit. And when you compare those two treatments, either the TPA alone or adding the stent technology, it turns out that people who got the stent technology did a lot better. They had almost a 70% greater chance of being uh, functionally uh, recovering at 90 days, which is a huge difference. And now we have two very powerful treatments uh, that can uh, halt and in some cases reverse stroke symptoms. And I think that will motivate people hopefully to get to medical attention more often and more quickly. Overall, the message Dr. Edgel and all stroke experts want for the public is to recognize stroke symptoms by the acronym FAST, facial drooping, arm weakening, speech difficulty, and time to call 911. Most of the time when we are not able to offer this treatment or TPA, it's because patients have uh, waited too long hoping that symptoms would improve on their own when uh, what the best strategy would be is to uh, take no chances and come directly to the emergency room. For more information about stroke, visit midamericastrokenetwork.com.